Welcome to Skagen, the most northerly point of Denmark. Skagen became a city over 600 years ago, and this is mainly due to its herring industry. It's also a popular tourist destination, attracting over 2 million visitors a year. And like my visit to Kristiansand in Norway only a couple of days previously, Skagen seemed far more bustly. <laughs> and while this was still early in the morning, there was lots of staff around getting the restaurants and bars ready for a busy afternoon. And in this video, I'll be showing you most of the main sort of tourist areas where people can go and shop. And for cruise travellers, one thing to point out is that this actually wasn't what my day was supposed to be at Skagen. I had booked an excursion to visit the World War II German Bunkers and Danish Resistance Museum. Unfortunately, not enough people had also booked, therefore it had been cancelled. Which I will admit was a huge disappointment considering this was one of the main reasons we went on the cruise. So if you are going on a cruise and considering making an excursion, please make that decision early in the cruise so that you don't miss out. However, that just meant we had more time to explore Skagen itself. As you can see, at this part of the town, there was a clothes market going on that day. And while Denmark has a reputation for being expensive, I thought the items here were fairly reasonable. I was pretty tempted by this hot dog stand. Luckily, I'd not long had breakfast, so I held off. As it was a warm day, we decided to go into Bruxen, which is basically the Danish version of the co-op. Being in Denmark, I decided to grab some chokios, but then also have a look around just to see how the supermarket compares. They had a great selection of sandwiches, pizzas and salads to take away. Didn't expect to find Ribena in here, but there you go. I don't think I've ever seen eggs in a fridge before. Maybe that's just a uh, Danish thing, who knows. Do you keep your eggs in the fridge? One thing I know for sure is that Danes really like their meat, especially pork.
quite surprised to see beef hanging up too. Bizarrely, not much fish, considering it's a fishing port. And one thing I know that's popular around here for sure, and that's beer. There was so much beer on offer. then decided to do a bit more exploring just to see what was around. This water feature did look pretty cool. And this end of town was definitely more quiet than the other one. Though it did lead to the beautiful Scarland Church built in 1841. Unfortunately, I had a few technical problems with my GoPro on the walk back to the ship, so here's some photographs of the port. All in all, Skagen wasn't quite the adventure I thought it was going to be, but I had a really good time here. It was nice to have a relaxing port day between going to Copenhagen and Oslo, which will be my next video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like and please subscribe too.